Welcome back tonight only on Fox. Imagine walking around every day seeing static. That means every sunset, every moment with your kids with a fuzzy haze over it. And it is reality for one upstate woman who's on a mission to find a cure for a very rare condition that impacts every moment of her life. It's not something you see every day in Greenville, but Jackie Vest says wearing a TV on her head is the best way to show what she faces 24 seven. She made this video to illustrate a rare condition called visual snow syndrome. The best way I can describe it is when you see like an old TV that's out of tune and you see all of the static and snow, the TV snow, um, that's what it looks like. That means baking cookies with her sons looks like this to Jackie. I thought I was having a continuous migraine or um, that the migraine was about to start. That was years ago and since then it hasn't gone away. I just was telling people I just can't see clearly something. It's flickering, it's pulsing, there's stuff going on. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> we visited Jackie, her husband and kids at their Greer home. She says most of the time she doesn't talk about her condition. She doesn't want to burden her family. I don't want to be the damper on things. You know, I don't want to be the reason why we don't go to the park or we don't go to the playground. You know, um, I, I want them to live a full life, you know, and I want to be part of it. So I'll do whatever I have to do. It's worst in bright sunlight or dark conditions. She's had appointments with neurologists and eye doctors. One took me down the hall into a, a, one of those eye charts, you know, with the with the letters on it. He says, you know, read this, read this, and you're fine. Your vision's fine. Many an appointment, I drove boy crying, um, very discouraged. They asked if she's on drugs, if she's anxious, if she's depressed. So she turned to her computer and came across a website that changed her life. Just typing in, you know, static and came across the term visual snow and then came across um, a simulated image of a little girl with this snow over her face and I just started crying because that's what I see. That's exactly what I see and somebody else out there has seen what I see to where they could make this. That's the moment she realized she had visual snow syndrome. After diagnosing herself, she went in to see Greenville neuro-ophthalmologist Dr. Mitch Wolin. So I've seen a couple patients over the years with this, and it's something that's written about in our literature. We caught up with Jackie and Dr. Wolin for a video lecture he delivers to medical residents at a Columbia hospital. Jackie was the featured patient. I have a, a guest patient here who uh, has an unusual problem. They had the chance to ask her about visual snow, something Jackie has become an expert on. Sometimes all of this together is um, handicapping and overwhelming. Back at home, we'll walk into that's what I thought. She says she consumes herself with her busy life as a mom, but she knows visual snow is something she can't turn off. Even with my eyes closed, I can still see the static flickering and it, and it vibrates and pulses and it can be very disturbing and very overwhelming. But as her video shows, she offers a unique perspective on this rare condition. And someday she hopes a cure will stop the static. It's as if something is going off in the brain that can't be shut off, like a light that can't be shut off. And again, there is no cure for visual snow. So people who have it find comfort in talking about their condition through social media, including Facebook pages like this one, Awareness for Visual Snow. I'm going to go web live right here. They describe their experiences, they share their frustrations, and they discuss what they're doing to try to make their daily lives a little more comfortable. Now, the condition is very rare, and it's believed to be connected to brain activity and not the eyes. Some doctors in Europe are hoping to start new research Research early next year. It'll include brain imaging, other testing and treatment trials. And those who have visual snow, like Jackie, say they're hopeful for answers and hopefully someday a cure.